I think we talked about this last time with my six foot four athlete. Yeah, someone I've been playing with, with, uh, with my clients. You see this with the clients that are doing squatting? Look at this. Yeah, right? Because it's easy. We sink straight down. Shit's easy. That hurts my knees a little bit. It sucks. Caps are I haven't given an ass and pay up for people in CrossFit the end of my coach. I haven't seen anybody yet that I couldn't press down into a front squat standing off in front of them. So I've got my platform, my platforms. They're right about this. This thing, this right about four inches. Thirty-seven people that were at the uh, was at the Olympic cert. 
Not one person couldn't get warmed up with this drill to drop full snatches and full cleans off 10 inch plates. Everybody there, we had some people that were not flexible. So this warm up was able to one, teach the body what it's supposed to feel like, but two, warm everything up and drop it down into it. So some of them going to drop it down. Some of the further cases, they would put a little bit of pressure on and just ease them down in and push down in. Might take you know, four or five sets, but we'll warm them up to get in there. So if I'm in squat, yep. And so right away, first thing we do is let you know my knees will be here on your low back. Okay. And I'm going to start to press down in and pull on your traps. Make this first adjustment here. And breathe for me. Good. So you're just going to keep sitting on your heels. I've got you. You won't fall over. Good. That's a good adjustment right there. So I'm going to come in front and grab it underneath your armpits. I always make it clear to when working with females so they don't just see my hands coming right here. And breathe and sink. Breathe for a second. So if you release quads for him, foster release foam roll and PMS stretching before we get here. I would suggest foster release on foam roll and PMS stretching. One, two, three, go. So what do they just say?